Hey guys, I'm LB. Let's play the Swapper. So, when I first started this game up, it asked me to enter my name. I tried to put LB, but it did not let me put LB. It said it must be at least three characters. I kid you not, it actually said that. So I just went with LB75C. What the heck? Why does it have to be three characters? So many w websites do that and now a game has done it to me? It drives me absolutely insane. Can't go anywhere with my two-letter name. So, first things first. I have seen a full playthrough of this game years ago. I watched Good play it, you know, Good for Minecraft. Uh, I watched his playthrough, so I do know the entire story of this game, but I believe that I have forgotten most of the puzzles. I know the general concept of the game, I know the storyline, I've seen somebody play it, so blah blah blah, there's that. But I still want to play it myself, because it is an interesting game. It's also interesting because when I, when I, when I chose to shut down the game a moment ago, it actually crashed. It crashed when it exited, which is kind of strange. But I do want to check the options. Yes, we have subtitles on, so that's good. Let's, let's begin. Okay, so it looks like we're, we're playing, and, uh, keyboard and mouse indeed. Uh, this- this game is interesting to me, because it kind of just has that... Okay, so I press W to jump. It just kind of has that look like it's a AAA game. The text is blurry, the, the art style is blurry, everything about this game is blurry. It's like Alien Isolation. It's kind of weird. Move the mouse to look around, yeah, yeah. Now I have this game limited at 30 frames per second to help with recording, because I'm only recording at 25 frames per second, so... If it doesn't look too good to you, I'm- I'm sorry, but... Uh, I have to save on recording space, and I have to save on processing power, because this computer is not very powerful. Oh good, space jumps as well, because I don't want to use W to jump. What is, uh, wait, if I press... I guess that's just like a save point or something? I don't know. Press E to call the lift. Oh, this is gonna be... Okay, so E. Uh, can I change that to R? I probably should have done that first. Let's change into... Oh, there's there's a map and a memory log. Interesting. Um... I'll, I'll just leave things as they are. I think E is fine. Interesting. <laughs> I can send the lift down without me. This art style is very strange. It's it's a really cool looking art style, but it's just so blurry. It almost, you know, it kind of almost reminds me of Vessel, which is a game that I want to replay at some point. 
I've played it before. I saw Good Play Vessel, and then I've also played now it myself. Theseus Excavation Site 24 on Planet Cori 5. All off-world transport via home teleport at base of installation. All finds property of the Sisyphus Project. Hold Q to display the map. Oh, this is cool. Interesting. I'm expecting some dialogue, but so far there hasn't been any yet. What's down here? This game is, if I remember correctly, slightly Metroidvania. Oh, this is the thing I was supposed to get. This is the swapper. Try holding and releasing... Uh, oh, right mouse button. Yeah, so this is the main mechanic of this game. You create clones of yourself, and, uh, w they all move at once. And then, uh... Uh... I- there's some way that you can switch control between them. But yeah... Make physical contact with clones to reclaim them. Oh yeah, yeah, that's another- that's another thing. So that's how we can get back up here, is by creating a clone up there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is tutorializing the puzzle mechanics of the game. Four clones can exist at the same time. So let's see here. One there, one there, one there. Oops, one there. And that clears your clone. So that's like a- that's like a fizzler right there. We'll call that a fizzler. Listen, we're grateful, but to be frank, half my team refused to be in the same room as one of these swapper devices. I hardly in civage. Envisage? I don't think I've ever seen that word before. I'm- I'm used to envision, but not envisage. Okay, I hardly envisage their use becoming widespread enough to justify the security precautions you've had installed down here. Interesting. Press F to toggle. Oh. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Radio uplink available. Broadcast location, Mind Science Laboratory, Space Station Theseus. What you're telling me isn't possible. <laughs> Tell me who I just ejected into space. So yeah, like I said, I know the story of this game, so I know what's going on there, but... I'm not gonna tell you guys. I can't switch to the other clone just yet. So, I guess I have to go here first and somehow upgrade the device or learn something new about it. This is a very... spooky... cave. Ah, yes. That looks like a device upgrade if I ever saw one. And I have to pick it up with my main person, apparently. Ah, yes. Create a clone... and swap to it. Uh, oh. So I have to have a line of sight, I think, but yeah, so we create a clone, and then we click on it, and we become the clone. And, yeah. Massive ethical implications, ladies and gentlemen. That is the main plot of this game, it's just the ethical implications. Or the main subplot, anyway. Let's see... oops. Uh, what? Can I not create a clone up here because of that blue light? Ah, interesting. I forgot about that. Look at this. This really reminds me of Vessel, like, a lot. This looks very similar to Vessel. Just... this art style. It kind of looks, you know... like, fabric or... like, if you were to touch it, that it, it wouldn't... 
I don't know how to explain it, it just looks strange to me. Red light blocks swapper rays, but we can still create a clone through it. Okay. Wait, I can't move... Oh, that's right, time slows down when you're creating a clone. That's right, that's right. need a security orb. I have been planet side for weeks. I cannot get clearance back to Thesis. Help me out? I can't. I want to see my husband as much as you do yours. Interesting. Oh, that- that activates something. Okay. The ship I came here in is fried. I have a rescue team on the way. They'll be here in a day's time. Why not? <laughs> there must be something we can... Oops, it's over here. Yeah, time slows down. And I can actually get back up that way. Yeah, there's also fall damage in this game, so you gotta be careful about that. Teleport... Dig Site B. Interesting. So it looks like we can't really go this way right now. So let's head to the teleport. Ah, yes, these strange-looking teleport rings. Oops. Teleport offline. One more encryption orb is required to access the teleport activation console. Okay. I wonder if these are just reminders for us to use our map, or if these update our maps? I don't know. They're probably just to remind players that they have a map. We need a faster turnaround down here. The last shift was supposed to go home six hours ago. Instead, you've got them shipping back more rock samples. They're tired. Please advise. You can't make me do that. I won't do it. There we go. So that was, like, the first puzzle in the game. The first actual puzzle. <laughs> Heavy breathing swap. I would not have known that that sound was a swap had it not been for the subtitles. Interesting. Okay, so now we can interact with this. That should bring the teleport online. Yeah, look at the stuff in the background coming up. That's pretty cool. Press E to teleport back to Space Station Thesis. Is it Thesis or Thesus? Pretty sure it's Thesis. <laughs> it stops working as soon as we get here, of course. Now we are actually on the station. And this is where the map gets big. Look at this! This is a big station, and we will be exploring all of it, and there's- there's some other objects here, which we'll also be going to. Good gracious, this is a big area. Of course, it's gonna take multiple episodes. That's okay, we still got like five minutes left in this episode, so we're good. Uh, let's get out of the map. Okay, left or right, that's, uh... Let's go left first. What's this? Just an upper area, I guess? Interesting. Welcome to Space Station Thesis. Hello? Yeah, these rocks talk. 
That's, uh, another plot point. Okay, so zooming out to show that there's a teleporter up there. These lights automatically come on, that's interesting. Sector 1 public. I think that says sector, right? Yeah, that's a sector. What is, uh... Oh, that's a lift. Okay, we have to take the lift for now, I think. Because I don't think there's a way to get up here yet. Yeah, I think we have to use the teleporter to get in there. This game is thick with atmosphere. This art style is amazing, too. The limits of language are the limits of knowledge. Our name was not their knowledge. They thought of us as watchers. Grab objects by facing them and holding E. Ah. Uh. Okay, I need to change some keybinds. That is going to drive me insane. Let's, uh... Uh, how do I want to do this? This is going to be really weird, but I'm going to put map on tab and then do this on Q. I never put interact on Q, but for this game, uh, I will. Yeah, so now I can easily hold Q and do this. Or maybe... Is there a crouch in this game? Maybe I should just put it on shift. <laughs> Bear with me, I- I kinda forgot about these, uh, aspects of the game. Still like having map on tab, but... interact... Yeah, okay. There we go. Interesting. You know what? <laughs> Shift is too weird for me. Let's just put it on what I usually have it on. Oops. There we go. Oh, I... I duh. There we go. That'll be better for me. So, let's see, what does this say? For more encryption, or be required to access it, Dante. And that, I'm assuming, will kill me, right? So it happens... Oh, huh? Okay, uh... Let's look at our map, where do we want to go? There's three places we can go. Let's try going up here first. The world is the limit of thought. The limit of thought is the chain of hearers like me. I cannot speak if they cannot listen. Interesting. Okay, so there are a couple things in this room. What is where, how is where, does where tick? We know only the minds in our chain, you choose your chain in a dimension we do not know. Okay, so that's all that's up here, it's just these rocks. I 
they're trying to send that lift without me. Oh well. Okay. Got a couple things in here. Wait, what? Oh right, okay. All right, this, that's blue light, so I can't do that. But, I can swap through it. What's in this room? What did this say? Uh, okay. Quarantine disengaged. Well, okay, we disengaged the quarantine. Uh... There is something in that other room, though, but we're gonna have to find out next episode. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. If you hate my voice, leave a dislike. It's up to you. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!